guys, welcome back to another episode of On the A Kingdom. This is Bryony Parker here bringing you when Addie gets married. So we're going to get on to her wedding. I'll show you guys her wedding outfit. So let's get on to her wedding. Now under the eyes of the gods we hold a wedding ceremony. Both of you move to the altar. Doesn't Addie just look beautiful? Hamelin, as a groom, do you promise to stand by your wife and to support her always? And check out this guy's name. Hamlin Hamilton. I, I I have no words for this. If he ends up still having Hamlin Hamilton after this, I'm going to be really sad. He says, I do. Addie, as the bride, do you promise to stand by your husband to support him always? I do. Now give proof of your love in the sight of the gods. We're finally together. I'll never leave you. So, out of all the children that Elena's had, that is Melissa, Holly, Addie's married, and let's see here, Jeremiah's married, so there is literally just Flora and, um, what else is there? There's Flora, oh, and Elena. So, Flora, Flora and Elena are still not married. Well, Elena's still a kid. Yeah, try putting those two together. Yes, I chose Elena for Elena's daughter. Different spelling, but same pronunciation, so, anyways... Addie says, I'll never leave you. Oh, and both of Addie's parents are there. That's so precious. Hamilton. Their last name is Hamilton. He's still Hamlin Hamilton. <laughs> what? Hamlin Hamilton. Are you serious? Oh, game. Why? I'm not going back and fixing this. Because if I keep trying to do this over and over, I will literally be locked out of my game. Literally, you try to set a certain last name in the mobile version of Nia Kingdom. Like, all they will, like, just shut it temporarily, your account, for a short time. Literally, they will do that if you keep trying to redo this over and over again just to get a certain last name. So, I'm not doing this over and over. It's not worth it. And I especially don't want this account banned. So, anyways. Yeah, unfortunately, he's going to be Hamilton Hamilton and Addie's going to be Addie Hamilton. At least Addie Hamilton works, at least. And then blah, 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 place for the new home. Now on our guest celebrate the couple joined here today. And there's Santiago and Elena. Only Hamilton's mother was here. Oh, and Santiago is so sad. Oh, Elena was here. Oh, and there's Jeremiah there for his sister. And Hildegard on the um, group side. That was interesting. All right, guys, and we are back. So Vivian is going to be turning into a child the next day. But anyways, let's get on to what Vivian looks like as a child. Get on to the next day. Blah, blah, blah is going to be happening. Da, da, da. Oh, oh, I think I see what she already looks like already. Oh, so cute. And what is... Oh, hi, Milton. Hi, Holly. Oh, gull. Everyone wants to see me. No. <laughs> I need to see my kid. Let me see my kid. Okay. Let's see what... Oh, my goodness. Look at her. Oh, she so reminds me of Elena. Oh, my goodness. I mean, really, the eyes. I mean, the only difference is, is of course, the dark skin that Hildegard has. Same eyebrows as Hildegard, but same mouth as Jeremiah, though. Oh, my goodness. What an inheritance. But, of course, I'll be back when I get a makeover for Vivian. All right, guys. And we are back with the makeover. And this is what I've decided for Vivian. And, oh, my goodness. She's so cute. When, it, when I saw the purple summer outfit on her, I just couldn't. I couldn't say no to it. She just looked so cute in it. And of course the accessory to sort of match it. Doesn't completely match but still looks really cute. But what she is wearing is the Summer Kid Lavender and the Flower Crown. So yeah, she looks just absolutely cute. Oh my goodness. So adorable. Oh, anyways, of course I'll be trying for another kid. And then I'll be ending the episode. So until that. Alrighty, guys, and I am back, of course. So, um, the idea I had in mind that I was going to talk about. So, 
my idea is is that Althi should add a hydrangea based outfit so what i think they should do for the guys though is kind of like what jeremiah is wearing right here but no no hat not like just ignore the hat just look at his outfit and it's called the pioneer summer outfit it's called the navy one but i think they should have that same outfit but with a hydrangea thing on it so let me go into detail they should keep the pants and everything else and keep the straps the straps add character along with the button up but instead it would be like everything else at the bottom would say the same it could either be like black dark navy blue or it could be white not all of those at once just one of those colors for the pants for example and then like besides his shirt a pure white shirt though and then in it it could have like a hydrangea based design so what the design would be it would be like a mid to dark pink hydrangea along with a blue hydrangea in the pure white shirt for the guys and i just think that would look super good with the same basically outfit but changed up a little bit and of course either the you know whatever they call these sort of pants with the straps either a dark navy blue with no stripes by the way so none of these stripes at all or a black or white pure white one so yeah even if the outfit was pure white i think those kind of pants along with the pure white shirt with the design in it would be super nice and then for the ladies, I think that they should do, let me go and bring it up for my fam. And Hildegard will be a perfect example for the outfit. Let me bring it up. So it's called the Island Bloom Outfit. I just need to go ahead and look through my thing. I will get back to you when I find it. Alrighty, guys, I have found the Island Bloom Outfit. So for the ladies, I think they should take the same dress, but minus the stripes. No stripes at all in the dress. And I know it looks sort of floral-like, but it's not really hydrangeas. They're more like cranberries, grapes, whatever those are. Probably cranberries from the looks of it. But yeah, they should do the same outfit for the ladies for the hydrangea dress. And make it pure white, like this dress, but of course none of the color there, just pure white. Along with the lace also, all that pure white. And then on it, it could have a hydrangea design on it with the, of course, same colors of the mid to the dark pink hydrangea along with the blue hydrangea in there as well. And I need to abbreviate this because I didn't abbreviate it already with the male. They definitely have to have the blue hydrangea. I mean, what do you guys think when you think of hydrangea? You think of blue for sure. I hope so. I mean, if you don't think of blue, you think of maybe like some kind of pink hydrangea. I'm hoping not bright because unfortunately with, I'm just going to say this just from what my experience has been with so many characters I've had, even pinkish looking haired characters and even with the Sakura dye, I've not really been impressed when it comes to the pink outfits in Onia Kingdom and they just don't look as good on a lot of characters. I know some may disagree, but I just have not been impressed. Even with the really nice outfits that are good with the light pink. Like, even then, I haven't been impressed, but yeah. But yeah. Anyways, what I was saying, though, about the hydrangea part, though, but it should definitely be a blue hydrangea, for sure, in the design, at least. If it's none of the pink, for example. But, and of course, if they're going to do pink and blue, it needs to be, of course, a mid to dark to complement the blue. If it was too bright, the pink would show up a little more than I have to say the blue, for example. But I could be wrong on that for the pure white. Along with the shoes for the girls on the outfit as well would be basically the same as this Island Bloom outfit. It would just be, again, no open feet or anything. It would just be closed like this. But of course, pure white. So pure white shoes as well. And of course, finally, the other idea I have in mind is a hydrangea flower crown. So the hydrangea flower crown I have in mind would have to look something like, let me pull it up. It's based off of the rose flower crown. The, basically the, sh the same shape because the shape is pretty similar to hydrangea, which I think is pretty cool, but yeah. Here we go. So basically off the rose crown here you see, but instead of that light pink though, it could be like mid to dark pink hydrangea with a blue hydrangea so it'd be like blue pink blue pink blue pink but of course again gonna abbreviate this needs to be mid to dark pink hydrangea with the blue hydrangea which i think would look amazing if it was something like this like basically this crown right here with that fullness and everything basically as some people like to put it kind of fluffy looking because that is a hydrangea and if they didn't want to do that for example they didn't want to do like blue pink blue pink they could just make it a blue hydrangea because 
I'm, not, I'm gonna say this again just about anything pink I've seen in this game, even with the nice ones, even like this. I mean, with this one, it has pink and red, but don't do a pink hydrangea uh, crown. It just... Pink does not look good on a lot of characters in Only a Kingdom. I'm not saying I hate pink. I, I Pink can be very nice in the right ways, but when you don't find the right characters for it, which is most characters... It doesn't look good so yeah anyways just an example I had in mind and another thing I wanted to mention was they can maybe even make a backpack based off of it now Hildegard would not be able to show it because of her long hair so I need to bring up Jeremiah here he'll be the best example when it comes to the back so let me bring up the backpacks and I would think it it should be like the shape of the rucksack there we go like the rucksack. So let me bring it up. So you see back here, this is the rucksack backpack right here. Now, if they were to do something like a hyd I hyd <laughs> excuse me, a hydrangea based one, they can make it to where this same backpack was pure white with like a single like pink, mid to dark pink hydrangea um, next to a blue one, in, like right in the middle. And I think that would be really nice. Or if they weren't to do that, it would just be all light blue hydrangea design all over the backpack just kind of like it's literally the pattern in the uh backpack basically is the blue hydrangea one so if, if they didn't want to do the white with the you know design they could always do just the light blue with the hydrangea thing all across the backpack all around it so which i think would look really nice and it would just look so nice on so many characters but yeah just some of the ideas I have in mind. So I just wanted to show an example of that, of course. And of course, as you can tell, I kind of changed up Jeremiah's outfit as well. Because I thought this looked summery and it was something I pulled through the Taylor coupons. And he just looks so nice in it. The outfit he's wearing is called the Pioneer Summer Outfit Navy and the Fishing Hat, which actually looks amazing. And I also changed Hildegard's outfit. She is now wearing the Island Grey outfit along with the Wreath White. And she looks very cute. And of course, I also changed another one of my family members. Let me see here. I believe it's Melissa. Yeah, Melissa. Melissa's wearing the summer outfit common and the flower hat white. And she looks very cute. And also, she's had a new kid. A little kid named Billy. Who also has the blonde hair from his dad. And it looks like the same eyes as her and tan skin. So he's going to be very cute. And of course, there's Luigi, her oldest. Kind of looking like her husband in Inheritance. And then Holly, I changed her to the Pioneer Summer Outfit Haze along with the Wedding Festoon Violet. And oh my goodness, she looks so pretty in that purple. Oh my goodness, so pretty. And of course, Addie, she is wearing the Summer Outfit Common and Flower Hat White. And she has also had a kid as well, Aldhelm, a little boy. And he's so cute. He's got basically the fair skin from his dad but the blue hair from his mom and I think the eyes weren't going to change yeah the eyes were going to be the same inheritance the mouth and eyebrows are unknown but oh my goodness Aldhelm is so cute awful name but hey it is what it is and of course I mentioned it before in of course the beginning of this video Hamlin Hamilton I still can't get over it I also forgot to mention Holly's family her oldest and only child for right now Mario Tomba who's really cute and, of course, I need to mention that the other rest of the family members, there is Flora. She still has no boyfriend, as you can see, no partner, none. But she is so pretty as well in this summer outfit. Oh my goodness, I absolutely love it on Flora. Flora is one of my, oh my goodness, my favorite models to just dress up and everything. She just looks so model-like. Anyways, she's wearing the Pioneer Summer Outfit Mint along with the Rainbow Flower Crown. So, yeah, she looks very pretty and summery. Along with, I also did Elena. She is wearing the Summer Kid Common and Fishing Hat. Not the mother Elena, the daughter Elena. I know, they sound the same, but different spelling. So, but yeah, that is what she's wearing. And she, of course, looks very summery and cute, of course. But that is Elena, the younger sister of Jeremiah's. And... Let me see. Vivian, I also changed her outfit as well. So you saw previously before the lavender outfit I had on her. But yeah, this is her new outfit now. So that I'm actually going to be keeping during the summer in real life. So because right now where I'm at is still summer and we're into July. So yeah, but she's wearing the Summer Kid Common along with the wreath assorted. And she just looks so cute, honestly. And again, very summery. 
And I need to, of course, go ahead and find Hildegard before this video ends because she is pregnant and I also need to use the Lest Flower in order to get a girl. So, because in the next one, after Jeremiah becomes a priest, I want to, of course, go for the priestess work, of course. So, um, I mean, I still, from the actual priest, he still hasn't given anybody the position yet. I could even look at him and still hasn't given it over. Here we go. Anacleto, he's 20, so still not yet, which... By the way, 20 times 3, that's his actual age. He's So he's like 60 years old, so still hasn't passed it down, but that's all right. I'm still waiting on him. I'm going to keep trying, of course. I'm waiting. And then I was going to say anyways, but yeah. Um, so Hildegard, I know, is pregnant because after I did it a bunch of times to try and have a kid, um, it didn't come up anymore. So I know it usually disappears. It usually means that it no longer, um, like, she's already pregnant. So... Because she's already pregnant, hopefully, I am also going to use the less flower as well. So I get back to you and I go and find Hildegard. Alrighty, guys, and we have found Hildegard. So, of course, before you can, of course, use the less flower, you have to make sure that you, of course, talk to them and make sure that say that they are pregnant. And the thing that will come up, it will say, you seem happy with a dot at the end, which means they are pregnant. Why are you smiling? Did something good happen? I think I might be pregnant. What? Really? Congratulations. What's the baby do? You have to make sure you look after yourself. And of course, look up the less flower, which I didn't like. I thought I had one on hand, but I guess not. So I went ahead and bought one, of course. So, of course, we're going to decide the gender, which is going to be girl, because I'm going to be going into the priestess work after Jeremiah becomes a priest. Hopefully. If not, then maybe a priestess in the next one. So anyways, I want a girl. Let's pray with the less flower then. Yes, I hope we get a healthy girl. We'll need to think of a good girl name now. <laughs> and of course, I of course have a name already in my book still available to use. And there are a lot of good girl names still available. But if you guys want to of course leave down any comments for girl names, feel free. And of course our last name is Tomba. So whatever you think will be good for the first name for a girl. Just feel free to leave down the comments. And of course for you people who are very creative of course, I wanted to mention as well. What do you think that they should, um, all these should add when it comes to hydrangea based like summer things like accessories, outfits or something like that or for the kids, whatever. But yeah, leave it down in the comments what you think all these should add into El Nia Kingdom when it comes to for the hydrangea summer things, for example. That's what this video is going to be about as well is the hydrangea based outfit things that they should come up with or accessories. So yeah, feel free to comment anything about that topic of what they should do for the next coming event if they're going to do that. And I think that they should definitely add this one to a Furtis event for sure for the outfits, the accessories, or even any furniture though. But I don't think I'm very keen on furniture because with hydrangeas, it's a little iffy. So when it comes to basically the hydrangea furniture, so they have to be really careful to where it looks good. But yeah, anyways, feel free to comment that down below in the comment section. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will see you guys on the other side.